Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. In the last episode, we discussed resetting an old project for the purpose of remixing. In that episode, I reused one of my old projects where a friend and I recorded a cover of Possum Kingdom by the Toadies. If you're familiar with the song, there's an interesting vocal effect at the very beginning that's called a reverse reverb. Today, I'd like to show you how to recreate that effect. Let's take a look. I've got the old project open and it's been reset. All of my tracks are centered, all the faders are at Unity, and there's no effects on here currently. I'd like to take the first line of the song, which is Make Up Your Mind. Let's take a listen to Blake's original performance. Again, this is without any effects at all and is exactly as we recorded it, I believe, four years ago. Make up your mind. Now, the effect is a little bit difficult to explain, so instead of wasting any further time trying to explain it, let's just get started. I'll need to create another track to handle my processing. I'll highlight my vocals track, and I'll press Ctrl T to create a new track. Ctrl or Command T is the default key press for creating new tracks. You can also right click an existing track and select Insert a New Track. That will insert a track directly below the selected one. You can insert a track at the end of the track list as well. Or if you go to Track in the top menu, you have the same options listed here. I'll rename this new track Reverse Reverb, since that's what I plan to put there. And the first thing that I'll need to do is make a copy of the item that I want to perform the effect on. I'll take this first phrase here, and I'll hold Control, then left click and drag to make a copy of that. I've currently got my vocals track soloed, so I'm going to switch my solo over to the reverse reverb track, and as you can hear, it's identical to the one we just copied. Make up your mind. It looks like I may have moved it a little bit, but that's okay. The next thing that I'll need to do is shorten this so that I can only capture the phrase that I want to build up. I want to build that tension into that first phrase, which is make. So let's trim this back a bit and find a good stopping point. Make, make. That's not bad, but I've got a little bit of the next word in there, so I'll trim it back a little bit further. Make, make. And that sounds pretty good. It does have a bit of a harsh K at the end, but that'll be fine. Next, we'll need to reverse this. This can be accomplished by right-clicking the item, going to Item Settings, and you'll see an option to reverse the active take. Now let's take a listen. Gim. Gim. Next, we'll need to apply reverb to this item. You can apply the effect either to the track or to the item itself. Click the link above to learn more about item effects versus track effects. In this case, I think I'd like to just add it to the item. I'll just use Reverbate. And I find it best for this effect to make it 100% wet and completely remove the dry. I think I'd like to have a large room sound for this. Maybe dampen it a bit and add a few milliseconds of initial delay. Now let's take a listen. I think that'll work nicely. I'll close my effects. Next I'll need to render this item. That can be accomplished by right clicking the item and you have an option to render items as new take or you can select apply track take effects to item as new take. Either one is fine. Now I've got my rendered item and as you can see I've got both takes active here. Here's our original that's been reversed with the reverb applied. And here's our rendered copy. What I'd like to do now is to crop this to the active take. I'll right click, go to take, and crop to active take. And that just leaves me with a final item with no effects applied. I suppose it's better to say this does have the effects on here, but it's no longer an active effect that's taking up any CPU resources. Let's trim this out and take a listen to it in its entirety. You have to keep in mind that since this has reverb applied, it's a lot longer than it was initially. There we go. Now let's take a listen. So that's our entire item. It sounds pretty good, but now we need to reverse it one more time. So right click the item, go to item settings, and choose reverse active take. Now let's hear what we've got. Our next step is to find the perfect place to move this item so that it builds into the first syllable of his spoken line. I'll add the original vocal track back to our solo, and let's back this off a bit and see if we can find the right place. Probably want to trim this back a little bit as well. Makeup. That sounds pretty good, but I think it's still a bit too long, so let's trim it up a bit more. Fade it in a bit. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. And that's it. Since the original song by the Toadies and my cover by the Dad Rock Project are both copyrighted, I'm not able to play this in context for you at the moment, but feel free to click the link above to check out our version. As you can hear, the reverse reverb is a great way to help build tension and lead up to something exciting in a song. 
Perhaps you can find a way to use it in your projects. I hope this helps. If you like the content you've been seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And you can support the channel further by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee, I Like Coffee, or Patreon link below. Join us on Discord and engage with other Reaper users. Hi, I'm not Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials.